You must love this time of the year that you know, you're not delivering bad news. <laughs> yeah, it's the best part of my job is weeks like this when I'm giving good news every day, lots of sunshine and warm weather. People love it. Well, People what, do love it. What, yeah. is, what classifies a status yellow high temperature warning? So that's when daytime temperatures exceed 27 degrees and nighttime temperatures don't fall below 15 degrees. So warm nights and very warm or hot days. But this is only in the east and south of the country, is it? So this is Munster and Leinster from tomorrow onwards until Saturday. OK. Yeah. Now, we are in a heat wave, but why, why, why do you describe it as a heat wave? What constitutes a heat wave? So a heat wave for Met Aaron is five consecutive days of temperatures over 25 degrees. So that's the Ireland definition of a heat wave. It does change from country to country. Yeah, so imagine. it's not particularly high for Ireland, so 25 degrees. So we did see 27 degrees yesterday. So we are essentially... In, in a heat wave if we do see those temperatures for five days. Because the last time when we hit 30 odd, it wasn't a heat wave because we only had a, a freak day or two. It wasn't a, long, a, a longer um, Yeah, spell. so it wasn't five days, so mm. we couldn't call it a heat wave. So we had to call it a hot spell. It's a shorter, shorter oh, period. What were you saying earlier on? Was this the hottest August, the hottest wit, um, in August in 27 years? 27 so? years, yeah. 27 uh, years ago was the record. Yeah, I yeah. can still remember it. Yeah, 31.4 degrees in Carlo in okay. 1995. And could we break that? Could we... It's unlikely that we're going to break it. Now, we might. It's going to get up to 29, 30 degrees in some places. Okay. So it's not very likely, but we won't rule it out completely. So how long is it going to last? That's what we're all kind of wondering. Mm. Can we book plans for the weekend, next week? The barbecues you know, are go? all going to be out all weekend. People going to the beach, planning their, planning their trips now. Don't give us bad news then. No, I won't. So for, for the rest of the week and the weekend, the temperatures are going to be high. So today it's going to be a very warm or hot day. Temperatures of 24 to 26 degrees. We might see 27 degrees locally in parts of Leinster and Munster today, but not widespread enough for the warning. So it's tomorrow that the warning starts. So widespread 27, 28 degrees tomorrow across Munster and Leinster. Hotter on Friday and Saturday and we're still seeing the temperatures on Sunday. So it's still going to be widely in the mid 20s on Sunday and the high 20s in some places on Sunday but as well. Sunday, what's going but to happen? Sunday looks like the end of the heat wave. So it'll get cooler then for Monday. So we'll be back to normal August. And we're going to see showers and stuff it'll next week? It'll get showery then, yeah. Usually when the temperatures come back down, we're going to see rain. Um, so it'll be showery probably from late, late on Sunday. It's a little bit of uncertainty in the exact timing, but likely to see showers later on Sunday. And so we have next listen, week. five days to Yeah, enjoy. we still I mean, have it. We still have it for the next five days. And so, but you were saying like those temperatures in August. What is the hottest month generally in Ireland? Uh, the hottest month generally is July. July. So June, July, August is the meteorological summer. Why, so the yeah. Why are we seeing these? you know, the hottest in 27 years. We've seen July was very warm as well. I mean, yeah. Are you concerned with climate change or is that not something that you really look too much into? No, of course we are concerned and it's not really a thing of climate change now. It has changed. Yes. So okay. are you, have you noticed, happening. like, have you noticed, like, it's knocking, you know, the records and charts off anything we've seen before? Yeah, so, you know, last month we saw yeah. record-breaking temperatures. Um, across Ireland, we saw right across Europe, temperatures have been broken mm. uh, this summer. So, you know, we're all seeing it. Uh, it is warmer and we are going to start seeing more hot spells, more heat waves year by year, more temperature warnings as well. So it's going to become something that meteorologists have to worry more about. Mm. We'll be issuing more temperature Do you worry about the winter well. then? What could we see kind of adverse effects on the flip side? Yeah, so the winters are going to be generally milder, but also wetter and storms are going to be more intense. So okay. generally yeah. we're, winters, we're going to see stormier weather. But milder, yeah. you are saying they will be milder. Milder, it looks yeah, but like that's they not great when it's raining. No, no, <laughs> it's true. But now, so um, literally then over the next five days or so, so people should be aware of the how severe the sun is, mm -hmm. some factors, and then if you're going to the beach and if you're going to lakes and stuff like that, water yeah. safety is very important as well. Yeah. I mean, the sun is very strong this time of year. 
widespread sunshine. I mean, the last hot spell was cloudy at times. I know some people were a bit disappointed, but loads of sunshine this time. So if you are out in the middle of the day, particularly wear your SPF, mm. you know, keep your skin, skin protected. By all means, enjoy the sunshine. Mm. You know, we don't want to rain on the parade. Enjoy the sunshine, but uh, stay safe. And we don't want to see any more tragedies as well around the water because people flock to the beaches, mm. uh, rivers, lakes, which they should, you know, it's, it's great weather for it, but just to be careful.